Yo, we just changed the game with this one. Introducing AG number two, the newest groundbreaking artificial intelligence software in the game. We got things like AI text generator, AI image generator, AI code generator, AI chat box, AI text to speech, and voiceover capabilities. Yes, it does coding. Yes, it does images. It literally does everything. Make sure you click the link at the top line of the description box. If you're a content creator, if you're an artist, if you're just a regular person that want to take your life to the next level, trust me, click that link at the top line. Hey, Eddie Griffin just dropped some bombshell information about what he feels is going on with Diddy and even another big name that he drops in the music industry. Buckle your seatbelts. Listen to this. It's a couple minutes long, and then stay tuned for my breakdown of this. This is wild. The monster and the the, the head of Universal Music Group. See, see, he's uh put Diddy up, and, and they 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 sacrificing Diddy. They, they they said, nigga, you gotta take this shit, cause we ain't we 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 can't be involved. But Diddy smart. He filmed every fuck session. So and that's why they raid in the house because they got friends in Homeland Security and the feds. And they said, get, get in there and get them tapes from this nigga. He trying to blackmail us. That's what I believe is going on. Cause you know, Homeland Security, they came in there with tanks down there, motherfucking uh, military motherfuckers 25 deep, 30 <coughs> deep for one dancer nigga. Say what? One dancing nigga gonna have 50 goddamn troops at his goddamn mansion. It's not Suge Knight, it's Diddy. That, you know, HSI's there, the military motherfucking Homeland Security is, man, this is, anyway. The militarization of the police department has just gotten out of fucking hand. All these motherfuckers got on army gear like they going to war at somebody's mansion, all right? Now, part two of this. I mean, what, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? You gonna tear up the man's house? It's just, it's just, and you didn't put shit back to where you, you, you where you found it. You, you sons of bitches. You sons of bitches. You sons of bitches. I want to know who told the camera crews that they were going down there to raid his house. They already set up, had the motherfucking satellites, the helicopters, that all, all over the top, nigga, to get the aerial view. I mean, you know, just to, you know, sensationalize the story. This is why I'm saying somebody's behind this shit. It's staged, right? Because if it's really just a, a quick, fast hit on the motherfucker's property, nigga, you ain't going to call the press and say, we about to hit Puffy's crib. You're just going to hit the crib. And they're just going to have to hear about that through the grapevine and rush down there as quick as they can. But no, we seen the aerial shot of them driving up and arriving at this motherfucker's crib. Somebody's behind it. Somebody way up the ladder. And I think that ladder is the head of Universal Music Group. Now, be honest, I, I think he's been listening to a lot of Candace Owens. He's been watching a lot of stuff on the internet but then the other side of me is like yo maybe he really knows something see being in the industry being connected means you're connected to people and people are talking behind the scenes and um the overarching consensus is that you know this is definitely you know it's either one or two things or maybe even three i'm not even thinking of that he really did this and it's time to pay the piper or maybe you know, he didn't do what they said he did, but he pissed somebody off. And now they're coming at him hard body with their media, with their police and all of this. I mean, look, I don't put nothing past anything, right? Because everything under the sun is possible and everything under the sun has been done before. But um, I think Cassie, that, that, that one right there is just, you know, this is somebody who is by his side, right? And other than money, which is a, a huge motivator, you know, to come out and, 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 you know, to the tune of 30 million plus dollars. Who knows? Who knows what really happened? I mean, time will tell when the evidence starts to come out. We will see. I mean, we heard about the leak. I mean, the um, the uh, um, secret video recordings and secret secret tapes. And I'm sure that the feds right now are going through all that and, and building a case if they don't already have a case against Diddy. So um, we'll see. Again, being connected in Hollywood means, you know, people people are talking behind the scenes. So. I'm not taking what Eddie said with a grain of salt, but 
you know, we shall see. But let me know what y'all think. I want to hear what y'all think in the comment section below. I'm going to digress and fall back. Make sure you thumbs up the video and share the video. Share the video and thumbs up the video. And make sure that you are locked in and subscribed to Hip Hop News Uncensored. Road to 1 million subscribers. Peace.